me pongo? ¿Para qué me invita? ¿Para qué me invita? What up, you scumbags? Welcome to another episode of Scum and Kick It, the podcast your mom warned you about. It's me, Scumbags, and I'm here with my homie, XG. What's up, dog? What's up? Feeling really scummy today, homie. Damn, you're for sure going to get bitches with that sweater on, dog. They're going to ask you for the cock and not the hat. I mean, they get all of it. <laughs> the cock, the cock. <laughs> what, no one tell you anything about the hat? The chick like, so with that cock hat. Nah, I thought, I thought, I thought. I don't know. I don't know what I thought when I bought this. I just liked it. It looks super paisa. And I got like two of them, and I don't know. I don't know. buy hats like that, like at a ranchero spot, or no, nah, bro? They sell these shit at the uh, at lids or caps. What is yeah. it? Cap? No cap? Like your like yeah. your ne- like your fucking cousin? No cap? <laughs> no cap? No cap? No cap? No cap? No cap? 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 <laughs> Damn, I know I sold cock there at lids. That's crazy. They sell cock at lids. All they do is sell hats. What do you think walks in there? You all don't... cocks, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they all sell you one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. I never thought so. I thought you bought like a swami meat or something like that. Nah, nah so bro, lids right here. A swami. Not cheap too. Fifty bucks for this hat, dog. Fifty bucks for some cock on your bucks, head, dog. Leather in the front. You see this? Leather, yeah, dog. Leather, leather so soft. My yeah. Bad. All right, guys. Go get a beer. You know what time it is? You ready, dog? You got All your right. beer with you. Let's go. Cheers, man. All right, guys, now that we cheers, you, you know what, what time it is? Time to kick that bitch out. Vámonos, pa' fuera. You, you think she's out? <laughs> she has to be out, nah, You got that you, was a week <laughs> after. Get out of here. That bitch is still like. No, you, no, she, no. She, she turned no, around. No, no, the you thing is, to me? honestly, at this point, we're episode 25, 26, and she should 26. already know to get the fuck out. This is like football. It's like football season. When football season s- starts on Sunday, go get me beer and make me nachos now. <laughs> Bring me nachos for me and the boys? Yeah, for me and the, and the boys, And come dog. down to the man cave, but get out right after? Yeah, bro. On the real, though, now since I brought up football and football season's kind of in, do you like bitches that like football, like sports? Or do you like a chick that's like, dude, he's good with the QB. Like, he, he, he honestly, I don't even know nothing. What? You see, I don't what? want nothing. He's good with the QB. <laughs> I was gonna say he's good. He, I was gonna say he's good with the RBIs, but like this isn't fucking baseball. What the fuck? R- <laughs> RBI is the- baseball, dog. RBIs is baseball. Man, I don't watch no sports. I only watch so- fucking boxing and, and UFC. But <laughs> RBI. So what, what are we on? RBI or Q- a QB the quarterback? Yeah. Bro? So nah, what, I don't so- want no chick wa- watching some fools in tights all day. What the fuck? So how would you feel like you're bon- you you bone this chick on Saturday night, dog? You're giving it to her, dog. She's all periqueada. You're drinking. You guys are at the studio. You guys pass out, and she wakes up early in the morning. Wake up, wake up. Do you have direct TV? And you're like, what, bitch? What? Direct TV. The Raiders are playing right now versus the Steelers. Oh, Bro, on, on is that Sunday? a turn on? Is that a turn off? Yeah, Sunday morning. This is a Sunday. Boy, what, Sunday what? starts at like 10 in the morning, bro. Like these people are already, I'm already awake. Gringos. I'm already awake and at brunch. <laughs> no? No, bro. Brunch isn't for football, dog. <laughs> no, no. They don't have the, it's not? It's plain, but no well, one see, cares. Not a, not a man's sport. Brunch is not a man's sport. They're not showing no man's sports. Back to you, XG. <laughs> back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to <laughs> no sports at brunch. Do I like a, a woman that sees football? Honestly, I don't. Sports? No, 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 no. Let's just say in general. Sport. Would you be? Would you be intim? Would you be intimidated if some girl came up to you or the night before you were like, "Yo, scumbags, are you ready for the who Canelo fight this weekend?" A girl that likes her boxing. Let me know. I appreciate it. Football? I don't fuck with that shit. If she likes football, you know what I think right away? What? Her and her ex man used to watch football, and now she's trying to make. Me watch football with her? Like, I ain't your ex, man. Okay, well, you just said it's okay if she likes boxing. What do you think she was watching boxing with? Her old man. But they said I like boxing <laughs> and we could, we could watch it. <laughs> now, I got to watch a sport I don't like. <laughs> if I'm watching football, I don't, I don't want to watch that shit. So you... so you, you and, then, were, and then she's going, Raiders, Raiders. I'm like, her ex is a cholo? <laughs> probably, dog. Yeah, probably. Raiders have the... Raiders? Like, if you... If I got to be honest... I'm not. I don't, I'm not really into football chicks, but in on the real, Raiders have the worst female fans. They're like, what do you mean? We all know they got the torta, the cholo style. Like nah. it's just they used to maybe in the when they were L.A. Raiders, the Vegas one. They have a bunch of bitches, dog. 
They know what's good about them. But that's just bagging. Wa- it's just bagging jumper. What is it? Bagging wagon jumpers? Damn it. What the fuck? I don't know, dude. My ESO's we, coming we hard go today. Back to, we got to go back to school next episode. Or bagging, what is it? Bandwagon. Bro. Bandwagons. Yeah, that's just, just hot chicks. Nah, are like, ah, I want to go to the game. Raider fans are diehard. If, if she's a girl that likes Raiders, it's because her, her dad likes the Raiders, her uncle likes the Raiders, her brother likes the Raiders. Yeah, and you're going to get jumped if you don't like the Raiders. <laughs> yeah. That's what all I'm getting from, dog. Like, so, yo, I don't know. So, <laughs> so it's, a, it's a bad thing and a good thing to date a Raider fan. You know why? Should I go with, what do you want to hear? The bad news or the good news first? Show me the good news. The good news is she's always going to believe in you. Always. Gonna, always. You could lose You could lose all season. She's still going to root for you. Like, damn, I started a clothing brand and it failed. Don't worry, baby. You got it. Next season. Always will be supportive. And then when she wants to break up with you, do you not trust me? Do you not believe in me like you believe in the Raiders? No, no. If you, The bad part when you break up is you're getting beat up. <laughs> you better start running, homie, because her brother's going to look for you. Her pretty much are going to look for you. Her uncles are going to look for you. That's the bad part. Good part. Supportive girlfriend. They, if, if she can support me, like she supports the Raiders, my confidence level is going to go through the roof. Like, damn, I do got this, right, baby? So, wait, 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 wait. I got to rewind a little bit. You said you like fe- females that box. Have you ever dated a female that, that was into boxing? Hell no. No, uh, oh, into boxing yeah. or that, the boxer? No, into boxing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get to know him that much. <laughs> but no. <laughs> No, no. Honestly, all the girls that I talk to, none of them like boxing. Well, not that they don't like, they'll watch it with me, but. They're not into it. Yeah, they're not into it. That's it. It's like watching it with XG. It's like, I'm putting know what's going on right here, dog. This is. <laughs> so, so you. In the rave. <laughs> so, you know how you said, oh, I can't date some girl that used to like football or used to like soccer because she used to fucking do that with her man. Could you date a gamer chick? You, can you date one of those, like a streamer chick that plays Call of Duty and like she's good? She's out there fucking nah. headshots. You could it? Why? It, it, the, she's, in, she's, in, a, in a relationship, there should only be one person playing games, and that's me. <laughs> right? I'm the player. I don't need to. I don't need to be dating a player. See, but you have to think about it, dog. She's gonna be too busy cheating on you. With some nerd? Oh no, she's not be cheating. She's gonna be with nerds playing. You can compete with the nerd. But what happened? That fool has hella kills. <laughs> <laughs> you better step your game up. <laughs> <laughs> Better stop finger banging her and start using my fingers for other shit. Like, cause I, I'm sure you've met those chicks, the cosplay chicks. You've you've taken pictures of some bitches that do cosplay. I can't date those cosplay or a gamer chick. You know why? Mm. They're needy for attention. They love attention from men. Like, what do you mean? I thought they're playing they, video games all day. They're not playing video games to play video games. They're just playing it because I want to be the only girl gamer, and I want attention from all these nerds. Like. A girl gamer is going to get a bunch of attention, right? Because most of the gamers So what are- if you're telling me there's no girl gamer out there that loves the hobby of playing video games? She's just out there trying to get for a nerdy attention. ass dick? For, no, even not, just any attention. Like, fuck it. I'm the only gamer girl. I'm only gaming for the attention. I'm not going to lie. Today, I felt I followed some chick. She's not even that hot, but she's like a welder. And I was like, oh, hot. she's hot. She's a welder. <laughs> a bro, welder? Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. She out there welding. And I was like, this bitch what can was get she welding? it. Random shit. But she got me. Like, it's like they, they, it's like when, like you said, when she's the only hot <laughs> chick in the like, industry, you're over here. I'm there, dog. <laughs> you're over here going through your, your dad's contract <laughs> business fucking, what's it called when they do it? Not an interview, uh, referrals? Or, yeah. I mean, like, oh, so you can weld. Oh, she's cute too, dad. Like, all right. She's I would've hired her. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 sent my, I sent my dad the contact because I was like, oh, we're hiring her dad. <laughs> what are they called in Spanish or not? I don't even know how to say a welder in Spanish. Yeah, we'll, we'll say Weldera. <laughs> don't say that, guys. <laughs> you're some real fucking sabo ass kid if you go up to your dad saying that shit. Hey, so, right. So, football season started, right? It, yeah. It started? Yeah, 100%. So, right it's now. It's like week three, week three or yeah, two. Yeah, week in. three. You know why? Because yeah. I've been seeing a lot of guys been posting, kicking it with their homies. A lot of boys' night. A lot of boys' night right now. All, but it's more than boys' night. It's boys all day, dog. Yeah, it's boys' day. Fantasy football. <sighs> I don't know. Fantasy football. You would never do fantasy football? I, I want to hate on it, but then I, get, I guess I can because it is gambling at the same time. Fuck it. You're making money. But before that, it was just fantasy football. Like, okay, so a bunch of fools that never played football are just fantasizing about it. The name alone is kind of gay, though. Yeah, they got to change the name. Yeah. Like, just a little oh, oh, fantasy football. My yeah. picks or something. About, like, something that fantasy football sounds like, okay, that you never played football. Now you're fantasizing about it at, at fucking 42. Oh my god, it's pretty gay. And then they all meet it's up. It's pretty and, fuck. It's pretty fucking. And they gay. all meet up and like, hey, if I had a dream team, 
it would be this and this and this. Oh, I'm basically but- gonna let him bone me first, <laughs> and then he's gonna bone me after. But I'm the coach, all right? I'm the coach, yeah. and this is my salary. This is, I know what I, I know what I'm doing, guys, with this list. I've never played in my life. I'm gonna go jerk off. To that list. This is what you're gonna do with that list. Fantasy jerk off. <laughs> Whoever comes first <laughs> gets the now, first pick. <laughs> now we get now we can hate on it because it is a money maker, right? Is it? I don't know. You gamble. I don't gamble, so yeah, uh, it's more like uh, it is gambling, but it's a cost fest. Yeah, you're all you're. It's literally. I mean, yeah, I guess you're gambling. You're betting on like. But they need a skill though too. It is a skill though. I would say there's some skill involved, but, but it is kind of weird though. Boys, fools are alert, bro. They'd be like. Uh, the fool didn't run 30 yards like I thought he would. Oh, yeah. Tracy McGrady, he didn't nut, so he's not going to play good. Like, they know everything. I don't know who Tracy McGrady is. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's a football Tracy, player. <laughs> Tracy McGrady, I'm like, are you talking about football or golf, dog? I don't I don't know, Tra- know, dog. Tracy McGrady sounds like a golfer, no? <laughs> on, the, on the nine holes, we got Tracy McGrady. <laughs> I was more like Tracy McGrady just got that interception. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so fantasy football, you never played it. I don't know how to play it. You played it before. I know the concept is you get with your. It's like it's like a team. You guys make like a like a like a league. So it's like ten fools or like ten twelve meet fools. up or what? They meet yeah, up. They at, meet up at, like, meet up at, at the homie's house. At, yeah. the homie's house. at the homie's house. At the, the they, baller homie. They, the, they, the baller homie. They like, put tables like and they're really doing a, a, a what's it called? The, bro, if we would have a fantasy, a if we had a fantasy football, we're meeting we're at your studio. No, this would be the meetup. We're gonna do a. We're gonna do fuck this fantasy football. Show. We're gonna do fantasy hoes. <laughs> we're gonna put ten hoes that we wish we could get. Like, <laughs> like all right, all right, guys. You think this hoe is gonna end up hooking up with this dude or with me? Who, who? But yeah, so you meet up with your homies at like so and so's house, and I don't know how it goes down, but y'all have a salary and y'all get to pick like twelve you have a players. Salary? Yeah, yeah put a, a, a salary like, cap. Every player is worth like oh, the best QB is worth like forty k, and like so you have to. Work around your your salary, and whoever gets the most points at the end gets first place, and first place keeps like the most money because everybody has to pitch in to participate in the fantasy that just football. Sounds time consuming, dog. Oh, dude, it's all oh, dude, and they're into it, bro. They're so, like, how many, so when you go to a, what do they do? Because they go every Monday, no? Or no, nah, you just meet up once. You just you just have to meet up once. But you go okay. You, you do the meet up once to do your little draft, your yeah, fake ass draft. draft. Yeah. And then after that, you got to... <laughs> fake ass draft. Well, yeah, you're not a real coach. Oh, come on. You're not a real coach. You're not really drafting, no, but isn't that, your, isn't that a real pick? This is just... You're all pedicado with your homies, yeah, dog. Uh, you ain't no coach, like, <laughs> Fool, if I, if I was that fool... Then you can, if you were that fool, you couldn't run, fool. You're coked out. You're coked out. You have a heart attack. What the fuck is it? If I was that fool around 40 yards. No, you wouldn't. You couldn't even go 40 feet. But... So, okay, you meet up every Sunday. Okay, there's oh, Sunday Oh, you just meet games? up one Sunday, one. No, but uh, the games are Sunday morning. Yeah, but pre-game. you don't have to meet up for fantasy football. You if don't you're have wa- to. If you're watching, you're watching your, because you got to ch- make sure that that dumbass fool fucking ran 30. You have all these picks. So, you're meeting up Sunday. The game started at what, 11 a.m.? 10. 10. And then there's probably three games, right? The last one's at like five, nine, Damn, eight. Nine. Right. Almost twelve hours of watching football, dog. It's like ten on Sunday. 11, oh yeah, dog. Because these would be because, bro, you gotta think about it. These guys are watching the games to get away from the house, to drink beers. Hey, today, girl, I'm leaving to watch football. There's four games, and I'm gonna drink, and I'm getting home at nine p.m. Monday. Now Monday comes, and what? It's Monday night football, right? Starts at seven. Yeah. So uh, now you're dedicating. Okay, you already missed Sunday. You're gone for from let's say eleven ten to nine. That's like 11 hours? No, you're done. You're, you're earlier, dog. Earlier. You got to get to the bar before everybody gets there to get the... Be- when you're in the yeah. football, you're no, in the football, No time dog. for brunch. No time for... Hey, brunch? Bro, bro, that's fools, a girl sport. Bro, I'm out. Bro, Let's go. I know this fool that used to go to sleep early on Sunday, on Saturday night with his jersey on. Ready to go the next day, dog. It was this white boy, dog. But it's their thing, bro. They're like... He's been like... He knows... For good luck, supposedly. That's just it. Fucking, and they still lose? Yeah, little kid shit. He's been doing that since he was a little kid. That like the night before, I wear my team's jersey and we're gonna win. Like, it's not the same jersey, right? Like when he was a kid. No, like, it's like, a different like, jersey. All t- it's all tight. <laughs> I can't, I can't even sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky if he wakes up. Huh? <laughs> He's lucky. Like, oh, I made it to another day. <laughs> all right. So, so okay, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, it's and then there's uh, Thursday. Thursday too. Thursday night football. It's Thursday, Sunday, I Monday. Even, I ain't even mad at this. Bro, and, and then, dude, dude, dude. 
And if they're really, really into football, like if that's like what they live for, there's college football. It ain't over, dog. College football, ain't, and these fools say that college football, people that love football say college football is way better than regular football because these fools are willing to risk it. Oh, dog, they don't have a contract yet. Right, they're true, true. concussion they after concussion. Let's go. So, that, okay, let's say how many hours now that football season, how many hours a, a week do you think you're investing into football? At least 20, a part time job. Damn. Full, because not only, okay. You don't think these fools are watching fucking recaps, Sports yeah, Center, and Sports Center? Your girl's trying to watch fucking Love Island, and you're trying to watch uh, Sports uh, Center, yeah. dog. She's like, turn that shit uh, off, dog. Yeah, uh, yeah. Con el pinche <laughs> football americano, yeah, güey, yeah. She's all like, all, all these balls, they don't put no balls in it. I'm like, damn. <laughs> See, that's the good thing about this season. I love football season, bro. I don't watch just, it, but I just like that all these women are outside, single. The man's too busy watching some food and tides. Unattended. Unattended. I never thought about Sunday, it Sunday, like unattended for 10 hours. She's going to brunch. She's going to the daytime party. Yeah, she got a boyfriend. That fool's looking at fools in tights, throw footballs around. Monday. Thinking about fantasy. Fantasizing. <laughs> He's playing fantasy football, and I'm with my fantasy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Now that you know, you know what's crazy? Now that you got me thinking. You're right. You leave at 9 in the morning to meet up with your homies or a bar at 10. You watch football. All day drinking, you start off with fucking a michelada, a bloody yeah. mary, because you know it's the morning. You start off with that, then you go to some fucking regular beers, then you go to IPAs, then you end up with some shots, end up with some perico. Because at like five, you're like, oh, I need a bump, and the homie shows up. The, the Raider for homie shows oh, up. Oh, I got the bumps, dog. <laughs> and now you're fucking doing bumps on Sunday. <laughs> you show up. You were supposed to lay pipe for your lady. You know, you're like, oh, I'm gonna show up. Yeah. Bro, your dick can't even get hard. You've been drinking all day, dog. <laughs> your lady's out there horny. She was at brunch. She was at day trip. Fucking moviendo culo. She was at Boys brunch. Boys night. Girls night. Now you should fucking capitalize on the night and give her that fucking piping of her life. And you don't deliver. She had you on, on her fantasy football and that's why at the end of night, And that's why at the end of the night when you're passed out, she's texting fucking scumbags. Yeah. Hey, my boyfriend don't attend me during football season. Where are you? No, your homie's <laughs> ex is like, my ex hit it better. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, see, it's, this is, guys, this is a fun season slash dangerous season. Take care of your bitch. Watch Good. her every step. You're right here with the boys, cock fans. We're at a garage. We're doing guy shit. No, you're not. It's just you and 20 guys watching football. Pretty gay. There's no bitches for sure because you're at the homie's pad that's married too. But she gives them a little bit more permission than you have, you know? Or, yeah. you, don't have, or you don't have a garage. or So you're out there watching football. And your lady's just at brunch. And, okay, it's a woman's sport. We... we, we you, it's oh. a woman's sport brunch. Yeah. Oh, can we finally agree on this or no? It's a woman's sport. What are they competing? Who can drink the most mimosas? <laughs> what the fuck is this, dog? Who can drink what, the most? Well, who can eat the most, <laughs> most French toast? What is this? Fantasy brunch. Imagine, like, who can make the cutest date? Who could? Oh, okay. Okay, girl. Who do you think is going to bring their boyfriend? Oh, what? I have Jill, Jessica. <laughs> She's going to bring her man. And then when they get to, like, Jessica didn't bring her man. Oh, you lost the point. <laughs> You're not winning this fantasy, book, fantasy brunch. All right, look. She's at brunch doing girl shit because brunch is for girls. So she's at brunch. And what did she say? Bro, brunch has hella bitches. You're right. Now, in this season, even more bitches. Because they're like, girl, my no, man's no. just watching football at this boy's house. And these girls are also like, I already know he's going to get home, coked out, drunk. He has to go to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So once he gets home at 9.30, he's dead. He's not going to want to hit. It, hitting the same pussy again for the fucking third year, he's not going to be motivated. They're horny on a Sunday at brunch. Damn, I might need to go to brunch now. Only through football season I'm going to brunch. Only football season? Well, yeah, then once that season's over, my season at brunch is over. All right? the boyfriends start coming out all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, what the <laughs> fuck, bitch? You were single last week. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. And then when, it, cause, when you, you can start noticing when it's the playoffs. And their team didn't make it so nice here. Her her boyfriend had brunch with the jersey on. Bro, and you know what's the dangerous part about bitches that like sports? What? These bitches can drink. Like, they can fucking drink, bro. A 24-pack? What is that? You want White Claws? Nah, I want beers. Like, I know these that, fucking sport it, fucking chicks, dog. If she watches sports and you buy a 12-pack, good luck. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, 
not six beers for you, six beers for her. It's eight beers for her with a 12, four, four for you, eight for her. Because she's going to chug it. Oh, do they chug, bro? Every yeah. time her team scores, so bitch. <laughs> In the club trying to find me the baddest bitch Two best friends but I don't know which one to pick uh, I'm in that scumbag drip, look at the fit Bitch is Tino K and you know that I never miss I think the cat calling me, I hear a hiss You see me counting money, none of your biz Stop playing games, this is not a Nintendo Switch I'm a whole ass joint, the whole team stay lit Fuck with us and you gon' see what all the hype about I'm just trying to see the ends be up in my account They be hating for your city, fuck is that about? But I don't let it get to me, I just laugh aloud Hey, let me see you dance, shake that ass, girl. That ass, girl. Fuck it up, make it nasty for these bands, girl. Uh, VIP, that's just how we like to do it. Alarm, yeah, I'm alarm, a scumbag uh, for real shit. They be like they hella different, don't know who to be. Like, cut it out with all the bullshit and the foolery. I'm first in line, shout out everyone that's after me. And every time I hit the booth, I make a masterpiece. Just touching dirty money, call it scumbagging. He looks stupid, trying to flex, I guess he done bragging. I got a couple homies really with it, and they gun at it. Look, he trying to fuck it, but I done had it. Low, baby. <laughs> oh shit! Damn, that is true. Cause damn, if she watches football, she gonna be drinking. Cause I, I doubt that she's gonna be drinking tequila. Oh, they don't drink mimosas. That's what I mean. They're like they no, drink, no, drink. No. They're there to drink, drink. They show up with ceviche and a twelve pack. <laughs> like damn. So it's kind of good to date them because then you get free ceviche. But other than that, we're talking about the girls that don't watch football. They're out and about. It's a perfect guys. It's a perfect season to go get laid because right now they're horny. The, on Monday, what, at 7? You can come meet up. Nah, but bitches don't go out on Mondays. And then you said Thursdays? Thursday. Thursday night football. Oh, Thursday for sure. Your girl's coming home smelling like dick. <laughs> You've been watching dick all day throwing football. This bitch has been throwing balls too. Deep in her vagina. Hut, <laughs> 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 hut, <Huh>, hike. <laughs> hike, hike, hike. <laughs> <laughs> like, two, uh, two, uh, <laughs> a lot of hiking over there. Like, she's like, she, she, she had two on her on her football gloves to jack you off with those gloves. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck, dog. But the good thing about football, though, you know I me. Mean? I love white chicks. It brings the white chicks out. Oh, yeah, it brings. What was that famous white chick that they in the Kentucky fool? Um, Taylor Swift. I hate Taylor Swift. Everybody. Well, she, <laughs> fuck oh, the, yeah. They're going to come after the Taylor Swifties. <laughs> Damn. Shots fired. What do you them. think about that bitch? Damn, boy. Well, you respect her? And, you you and, like her music? You, you got to kind of respect her, dog, bro. She's got every fucking female between 18 and 30 wrapped around her finger, bro. You got to give it to her, bro. If I was a football player, would I date her? No. Bro, he can get... Dude, have he you get, seen the females that fucking Kelsey, whatever his name is, gets? You think he gets more bitches now or before? Bro, when he breaks up with her, he can get whatever he oh, wants. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he get, breaks up with Taylor. He breaks up with Taylor Swift. He can hit up anybody he really intimately wants. Married, he can, he can not married. He right now. He could cheat on... Uh, he, could, he, he has better... You think time. he's cheating? He can't cheat, huh? The what? media? You don't think... But if I was a girl... Well, if he listen to Scum and Kick It, he's cheating because if she has no tits, you got to cheat. <laughs> Right? Or ass. She got nothing, bro. She got nothing but a, a She's a starfish. But a career. I, bet you, I bet you she just starfish. Just lays there, bro. You think she could fuck? No, bro. If she could fuck, she wouldn't have all these breakup songs because she would fucking well, yeah. not break up with fools. And this now Sam Tripley has said this. Taylor Swift can't fuck because she could fuck. She wouldn't have all these breakup songs. Fools wouldn't be breaking up with her. Exactly. Yeah. But, but they fool lasted a whole season. He lasted last season with her. Won the did he win the Super Bowl? Yeah, right? Yeah, he won the Super Bowl. You think her dick sucking? Has anything to do with him winning that she's Super Bowl? She's a white girl for sure. She's hot twin. White girls are they're good. I don't think she does. White girls, in the, white girls that are watching this, leave it a, a review of your <laughs> dick sucking in the comments. I don't know. Fuck <laughs> it. I'm <laughs> guessing, bro. She don't... I don't know, man. I would cheat for sure on her. I, 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 You're cheating on Taylor Swift? I don't find her attractive. Like, I like white bitches, but... Yeah, she's not. She looks annoying. She's, she's a cat lady. Like, she's she's a cat lady. Like, she's a cat I love lady. You. Like the first two weeks, I, I'm in love with you. And I'm like, oh no, not another psycho one. Like, because there's some white chicks that are just psycho, dog. We like white chicks. You never mm. found them crazy. Everyone's crazy. Well, yeah, but there's like, okay, what would you rather date, Latina crazy or a white girl crazy? 
Latina gonna get hit, and your car's gonna get broken. The Raptor windows <laughs> out of here. Yeah, but then the fucked up part about the—I mean, you might like this, but the white girls just like they forget about you. Like you didn't exist. Kind of sucks too, though. They're just like bye. That's fine. Well, bye too. Bye. No, I don't want to be in sync, but bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Is it in sync or Backstreet Boys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. The Latina's never gonna say bye. She's gonna always show up. I'm scared of Latina dog. I'm, I'm I'm cool with a white chick. She wants to bounce. She's gone. I'm good with that. What's up, you guys? We're here with one of our sponsors, Chili Millie. Go buy her art. She has these dope ass canvases she just made. We got fucking who is it? Michael, Michelangelo. And what pizza? My favorite food. And what do you, what do you got over there? X? Oh, right here, dog. The Virgin Mary, Marge Mary. This one's dope, dog. As a Mexican, I you know I can't I gotta represent the Virgin Mary, but this one's dope. It's a nice <laughs> canvas. Put this on your wall. It's literally good ass quality. Trust me, we're not joking around. These are dope. Uh, go go get this at chillymilly dot shop. Oh, let me let me hold that one real quick. Well, you're gonna make that thing an yeah. unvirgin. Damn, I chill. Haven't, I haven't had chill. a virgin. I haven't don't get that virgin. pregnant. I haven't had a virgin in a long chill, time. Chill, dog. Don't be <laughs> that dude. That's that, that's the beat. That's. <laughs> That's baby Jesus' fucking mom, dude. Right. Calmate. So that's what you virgins look like Mama's nowadays? Bass with me right here, dude. This is Get this last virgin. They're going off the market. There is no more virgin, so get this last one. I don't condone this. What's the website? Chili Millie. Chili Millie Top Shop. Shop. I love Jesus. Don't I don't condone this. All right, so now that we spoke about dating a sports girl, here's another one that would he date or would he not date? Would he date a comedian girl or a girl that's funnier than you? I'm definitely not dating a comedian girl. Like, I will not date a girl that goes up on stage. It's just like, yeah, I don't, like, don't want to. Because you're going to have to talk about me on stage. It's like I'm going to have to talk to. Stop being so centered. What do you mean going to talk about you? <laughs> yeah. She, the jo- her, her, she's not Taylor Swift. Okay. The joke's not okay. about her, an ex. Okay. She might not talk about me, but then she'll talk about some dirty, slutty shit. Because that's what females talk about. Like, oh, I used to fuck some guy and blah, 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 blah. LOL. Laugh now, guys. <laughs> and, and you're like, what the fuck? I don't want to hear when you used to suck this guy's old man's dick or what whoop de whoop or when you used to have an OnlyFans. That's 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 what dating a female comic is, dog. It's hearing them talk about what? how they used to blow how many guys or how their vagina used to smell or blah 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 blah. I what? just don't want to hear it. I Damn, just don't want to hear it. You're being a hater to the they talk about their menstrual cycle, about I don't hear it. G- girl stuff. I don't want to hear it. That's what I mean. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't I don't even mean to be a dick, but I don't want to yeah. hear about your menstrual cycle about how it lasted. So, and, and she's how it lasted for fucking three years. All right, so what okay, let's put a scenario here. You're at the comedy club drinking, you're all pedo, pediqueado. Next on stage, Sally. Sally comes, big titties. Okay. Her okay, jokes okay. are her jokes are funny. What are they about? About XG. <laughs> Her jokes are just funny. I can't tell you that. I'm not a... She's just a funny chick. I didn't have my phone that day, so I couldn't record. Okay, okay, okay. She's not, a funny chick. She's funny. You're like, she, damn. She gets the big book. By, she gets the big, bill, yeah, the big, the big book, book by Tony. The big book. And gets invited to uh, Secret Thursday. What is it called? Oh, the Sunset at the, the Sunset Show? Yeah. She gets, the Secret uh, Sunset you Show? You want to come to the Sunday? Well, Red Band always invites any girl to the Sunset. Yeah, and now she's a female that's hot. She's yeah. invited to the Sunset yeah. on Thursday. <laughs> so she gets off stage. You gonna holler at her or not? Ah, bro, you're gonna holler. First of all, no, because they didn't pick my name. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad already at that. I'm like, bitch, the fuck? I put my name in the fucking bucket. I want to go. No, up there. in the comedy club, not kill Tony. We'll get to kill Tony after. Comedy <laughs> club, just random chick goes up. You're right there. You did your set, and all you got was. She goes. And she on, murdered. She goes on stage like, Woo! more, more, more. Are you sitting right there at the bar like, more, more, more? <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch. Oh, fucking loser. <laughs> I, bet that, I bet that bitch, I bet your, your saggy ass titties. Your, your next set. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, bro. I bet your pussy smells. You, let me get another one. Let me get another one. Next set, XG again. Yeah, have you girls ever heard any uh, girl comedians? They suck. <laughs> Especially that bitch right there. Like, damn, dog. So no, you wouldn't date a girl that's funnier than you. Nah, bro. Even okay, non non stand up comic. The, okay, you I, go, I would. I don't even want to date. Honestly, it sounds fucked up. I don't even want to date a girl trying to be funny. Like what? she can't be there, like cracking jokes. Yeah, and then be like, you didn't laugh. 
Well, I, I wouldn't get a bitch that says you didn't laugh. If, if it's funny, that's I'm what I laugh. say all the time. When that shit don't land, I say that all the time. I'm like, why are you not laughing, bitch? Tough crowd, huh? Damn, <laughs> I say that shit all the time, bro. You, you get tough crowds in the relationship. The girls don't make you just laugh. Like, yeah. Sometimes they're, it's right after they found out I cheated on them, oh, which is fucking weird, dog. I'm like, tough crowd, huh? <laughs> tough crowd, huh? And she's like, boy, I'm still mad at you, dog. I'm here every Tuesday. <laughs> I'm here on Tuesdays. I'm here every Tuesday, guys. <laughs> All right, so no funny chick. Like me, I personally love a funny bitch. Like, you love if, a funny bitch? If she's funny, like if she, if shit, I could kick back and drink beers and hear jokes. Awesome. Other than that, if I have a bitch that's hot, normally hot bitches, I don't have a sense of humor, to be honest. Like, See, because she's doing all the lifting for you. What do you mean? You just said I just have to chill, kick back. This bitch is going to oh, do all the laughing. Okay, she's, she's entertaining just, she's me. Funny. Usually I'm entertaining. Dog. That's the problem. But she's not up my job. For you. You're just being yourself. <laughs> and now people are entertained by your sense of humor. Like, damn, I love being around XG. He's funny as fuck. All right. Well, okay. And then okay, I, I, right. I love being around this chick. She's funny as fuck. All right. Come back. So, all right. Let, let, me, let, let me put it for you. You said you love funny chicks, right? Let's say you're hanging out with the homies and your girl is making all the homies laugh, dog. I'm dying at your girl's joke. Oh, dog, she's so funny, homie. She funny anymore? Look at you. <laughs> what I tell you guys, it don't last too long. This comeback is like, fuck that bitch, yeah. fucking slut. Yeah, well, Why are you making the homies laugh? So you're trying to make XG laugh? <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. I'm starting throwing tomatoes. Oh, fuck it. Nah, hell no. Nah. You better only do stand up for me. <laughs> if you start doing it for the homie, I'm standing up and I'm getting the fuck out. Well, you're just her little, you're just her like, you're her kill Tony. She's testing all the jokes on you. So when yeah. she kicks it with your homie, she's like, My homie don't got to see your personality. Keep it between me and you. You you go with me and the homie. And you stay quiet. Hey, your girl's funny for Hey, fool, relax. <laughs> You, you want funny? Go to comedy yeah, sport. Yeah, yeah. Get your own funny bitch. No funny business right here, fool. Fuck out of here, dog. That is why I'm not dating a funny chick, dog. I don't want my homies laughing at my girl shit. Laugh at my shit, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm here. I, what the fuck? I'm the comic. Well, what well, the fuck? Well, that bitch works at fucking CVS. Shut up. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> chill. Chill. Is there homeless there? <laughs> is there homeless there? No, there's always homeless at CVS. <laughs> Their eyes always, they always look sick at homeless. Hey, what, what, would you, what would you do if you, okay, get there, you get there right there at the homies house, the garage. You're right there like, I'm going to try out this new joke, you know? I'm going I'm to try this new joke at the home like la la no laughs and then your girl fucking back feel like oh let me save my man and says a joke they all start laughing do you feel whack like damn i didn't deliver like my chick said a funnier joke or what like that sucks that's what i meant that's why you can't date a funny a chick funnier than you like would you date a chick with a uh more successful clothing line than you hell yeah with this collab bitch <laughs> Hey, bring your mana. What the fuck? Can, can I be a leech? Instead <laughs> of scumbag, slut bag, slut, hold back, hold back. <laughs> well, let, let me fucking collab, slut bag, scumbag. Two sluts make a right. <laughs> well, we can definitely scum and kick it, slut yeah. and kick it. No, but I, li I like funny chicks. Like, honestly, I've dated some that are funny where I'm like, damn. She's funny, like I can like on stage, funny, like for real, like you would tell her, like like on stage, I'm, I like, can't even go. I'm funny, but not on. Uh, but what, stage I was is asking, different. was she that funny? Where you were like, hey, bitch, no. on the real though, on the real though, you can go up on stage, you can, you can go up. No, because stand up comedy gotta kind of like tell a story. It has to be, I don't know, stand up comedy. I find stand up comedy, you do it. Is it complicated? Like, is it a so complicated? So fucking hard. It's scary. It, it seems so complicated. So fucking scary. Like now, nah, I still get scared. Like to this day, like I whenever I still like kind of nerve wracking. But like, if I asked you today, hey, you're gonna do a show Friday. All you would think about till Friday is that show. Is your fucking show? Literally, all your you can't even concentrate. You're like, oh, I, I, oh, someone bought a fucking large T-shirt. You'll ship out a medium because you're just all you think about is like my set. What am I gonna say? How am I gonna do? What if they're not there? What if they don't laugh? What if they do laugh? It's just not never ending thinking. Well, well, now it gets better, but the first couple times, like if I told you, yo, Friday you have a show, I guarantee you, you'd be like, the night before, tossing and turning, you're like, fuck. I honestly think if I were to try stand up comedy, I wouldn't think about it all week because then I would get nervous. I would just not give a fuck. And I you know have that. to. Your brain does not not let you think no, about I'm it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna write down the joke for sure. Okay, I'm gonna write down the joke. Well, okay, as a comedian, what do you do? Because I don't know the okay, like let's say a uh, clothing I I design to myself. Right, and then I text a couple homies like everything hey, of the shirt, shirt design. I get an opinion from a cholo. I get an opinion from a skater. I get an opinion from a pretty boy. I get an opinion from a fledge only wears Jordan. So then I get all four 
fools to tell me their back, uh, their feedback. And then I try to remix that. Now you, do you practice your joke in front of your lady? One, your lady's going to laugh because, oh, he's so cute. But you don't know if she laughed because you're so cute and you try it. Or, or do you go try it out, the joke with your homie that, you, that will know, like, pero that's lame as fuck. Podcast. Usually if I have a joke or something, I'll try it on podcast. But you, or... can't say the re- but you can't record a joke and put it out there, right? You're supposed to say the joke in private and then bring it out for a couple of Time's done without being recorded. Yeah, but I've said things on a podcast where I've I can f- work it out for like a joke. But you that remix makes any sense. It. Yeah, you kind of remix it. You kind of just use the premise, whatever premise I get here. So you try it out on a podcast. You don't try it out in like you never. Oh yeah, I, but- I would think if I was a comedian or trying to be a comedian, I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna have XG and Chili here, and I'm gonna tell, hey guys, I'm gonna try. See, that's two that's minutes. that's that's the worst way to tell them because now they're expecting you to kill. You're supposed to say like, "Hey guys, mid conversation." Well, all the other day, dog, whoop de whoop de whoop. I'm a storytelling. It could be a storyteller, but that's the best way. And if they laugh at you saying that, bank, put that in the pocket. It might make people laugh on stage. You just gotta tweak it, but you kind of just have to throw. Because if you ask people, "Hey guys, uh, I got a joke. You guys ready to hear it?" They're kind of expecting a punchline. Boom, 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 boom. And sometimes they don't land like that. We're like, oh, I'm working it out still. And that fucking discourages you. Now you're like, oh, that joke wasn't good because they didn't laugh. And they don't sit there and ask them like, hey, guys, I'm ready to tell you guys a joke because you got to think about it. When people go to a comedy show, these people are ready to laugh. Well, they're, they're, they're been they're drinking. Laugh, yeah. Right? So the thing is, you not that you don't have to be funny, but it's easier than asking your homies, hey, you guys want to hear a joke? <laughs> you know what well, I mean? Not, you, don't say, you. you don't set it up like that. That's like, what you said, but, dog. But, uh, that's how you sound. Like, that's how everybody sound when you tell your homie you want to hear a joke. Oh, you sound like, hey, homie, you want to hear a joke? Well, not like that. But if you're, on, <laughs> if you're on actor, be like, hey, guys, I'm going to read this script in front of you guys. Tell me if I look like Scar, if I sound like Scarface. And then I'll be like, say hello to my little friend, whatever. <laughs> you know? I should have just said my own, my own <laughs> accent. You know? I should have just talked like myself. But I'll be like, Hey, say hello to my little friends. Oh, like, hey, did it sound good, guys? Like, hey, man, you got it. No, like, all right, guys, I have a... Sit yeah, down, guys. see, but that's the thing. So that's the thing. So, okay, you might say, like, oh, don't comedians do that? They, 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 so I could do that, but the thing is, uh, comedians are haters. There's not a lot of feedback feedbacks between comedians. Like, I... I, I you're not uh, trying to make comedians laugh. You're trying to make average people... You can't tell a comedian... You can't... It's yeah, like telling but, Dr. Dre, hey, what do you think of this beat? He'll be like, bass too low, tremble too low, put another snare... Yeah, comedians are like that. Comedians so, are like so that. So you can't tell jokes to a comedian, but you gotta get you you. When you go to a show, it's a hundred non comedians, right? Yeah. And five comedians in the in, back. Yeah. In the back. So now, if you're trying to cater to the comedians, you're that's not a good way, right? Yeah, no. So you're, you're catering to fool that just got it on a nine to five. He want, he's probably gonna laugh at anything you say. That's funny. So how how do you? How do you make the art, I guess? No, it's You just go up there and do it. There's no practice. Like, I, I don't text George. I'm like, hey, George, do you think this is funny, my dude? No, George, at all. You don't, you, don't get a, you don't try to get approved for nobody? George might be like, yeah, it's cool, funny, but they're not. There's That's the thing about stand-up. There's no, there's no way to do it, so you just kind of go up there and just kind of do it. Like, I can't tell you how to write a joke. It's your joke. It's whatever's in your brain. It's hard. I can help you. I'm like, hey, put this there, put that there, but no. can't tell you. Be like, yo, scumbags, you should write jokes about, like, fucking bitches. Well, don't fools have writers? Uh, uh, it's Adam Sandler like says real, he has real. See, but that's like your like high level, like Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, all the like everyone else already kind of has like normal. Like George don't have a writer. Sam Tripoli don't have writers. And you kind of just go up there. Sometimes Sam will say something like, "Oh, that's going on stage." Oh, I've been working on it, but he doesn't. T- like I don't know. But I, who, uh, when, when you say I've been working on it, who have you been working it on stage? On, on stage. Also, just been going to random pop ups and just um, open mics and me like. Okay, I went to five to laugh, but this crowd is Beverly Hills crowd. I went to East LA and it worked. And okay, so okay, now see, I know that's a perfect community. example. I have a couple jokes where like I have a I have a uh, this cholo joke. That cholo joke works good with George's crowd. Doesn't yeah. work good with fucking Sam Tripoli so, white people crowd because they don't know what the spence on the tira means, dog. They don't know where they don't, you don't think they find this take funny? a masa. No, well, no, because one of my jokes is like I'm like, oh, I hate uh, cholos make their own lingo. No, cholos think they're bilingual. They just make their own lingo. Have you ever heard a cholo say, I got to take a masa? That's the most disrespectful shit ever. We make tamales out of that. I got to <laughs> take a masa. I got to take a masa. So I say that in front of white people. Where white people are like, they're laughing at me because they're like, oh, look at this Mexican saying masa. Yeah. But they don't understand. They're the laughing cons- at you. Yeah, they're not laughing with at you. my joke because they don't know. But I say this shit with cholos 
oh, I got to take a mas. And then the cholo's like, hey, that is disrespectful, <laughs> homie. Like, we make tamales out of that. I want masa they, now, homie. What's yeah, up, Yeah, fool. Like, the first time I heard a cholo say, I got to take a masa, I was like, wait up, making tamales? Dang. And, and this fool was like, I got to <laughs> take a shit. I was like, bro, that's disrespectful, fool. My grandma makes fucking tamales out of masa. <laughs> so you were picking the cholo taking a shit and your grandma in, 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 in his butt grabbing the masa? At one point, yeah. At one point, That's like crazy. not like that, not like that. But when I heard, I gotta take. A, when I heard the first time I heard the cholo as a paisa say, I gotta take a masa. I was like, what the fuck, a masa? We make tamales on a masa. And I was like, what do you mean? I gotta take a shit, dog. And I was like, oh, bro, you. I thought about chile. I thought about. Tamales rojos, tamales de fresa. <laughs> well, it could have been eating hot Cheetos. They was going to come out raw, no? Bro, either way, dog. Well, so that's what, my job. That's what I mean. It, I worked it. I've worked it out in tinfoil crowd. And I could have maybe not. What done. happened at the tinfoil? When you did at the tinfoil They're crowd? It's good. They were like, tamales, are we almost to Christmas? <laughs> Are we almost? Well, hey, they guys. almost deported me. Now they called fucking ice. They're like tamales. Report, hey, we report got, these guys. We got a bean on stage. <laughs> they're eating our cats and they're eating our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking all our stand-up comedy jobs. <laughs> Happening now, the hard summer festival going on this weekend on the grounds of SoFi Stadium is having an unfortunate consequence. Residents and communities miles away are still being subjected to the noise. Fox 11's Hal Eisner is live and he can explain this. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's hard summer 2024 at the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Two day event, Saturday, Sunday with crazy performances by Disclosure, Side Piece, Fisher and Chris Lake, nothing but good times. So you could hear it was loud, it was hard, it was hot. So me and the homies had to pull up. Link in the bio, just a little recap. Hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs> so all right, so Skankfest. We're going to Skankfest. Oh, you might you might meet a funny bitch at Skankfest. We're going to vlog you. You might fall in love in the video. I'm excited. Yeah, I want to meet a bitch with that. Well, I'm going to introduce you to all the funny bitches since you like all the funny bitches. Kim Condon, Sarah Wineshank, Scumbag is coming your way. Damn, Kim Tony did have a bomb one. What? That, I fucking forgot her name. Uh, like two weeks ago, that tall one, a white girl. They're killing it, bro. You, you know, it was it was like two weeks ago they had a girl. She's hot. She's funny. She just had a baby or something. I'll date her. She's funny. But anyways, so, Skankfest. You think they're going to be hoes there or no? Very little. No hoes. The ones there are going to be hoes because there's chuckle fuckers. And then they're, they're the fuck comedians. Vegas, and it's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There got to be They're going to be hoes outside. This is a fucking... This is Skankfest. It's literally a festival for podcasts. What? Who what? listens to podcasts? How do they, they call the Skankfest with no skanks? Huh? Skankfest with no skanks? Skankfest with no skanks, dog. That's a joke? It's not a joke. It's, it's not a joke. The, the Legion is skanks. Do you know where you're going? I thought skanks. Are you literally sneaking, are you literally sneaking into skanks something that you have no idea what this is? What, you thought this was the VMAs? Or the VNAs? Or what is it? The you porn? said skanks fest? Like, oh, they're going to be hella skanks. No. So I'm going to sneak into a cock fest? Pretty much. That Pretty sucks. much you're sneaking into oh, a cock fest, sucks. dog. Not, nothing, you will see. You will, nothing you will, funny about I this. I guarantee you, you will see at least two pairs of titties. You heard of this thing called you're the gonna, roll? You're gonna be shirtless? Uh, it's, it's not hot enough, but I do love I do love Vegas shirtless. But no, <laughs> no, no but for you're real. gonna be on ecstasy. We're gonna be hot as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, I guarantee you will see at least two pairs of tits at Skankfest. Chili in a kini? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Chili, it's chili chili won't be there. Not in the bikini. It's chili stickers. Um, that's the only chilies I'm saying. The chili, the, the chili chili stickers. When I saw a butthole too, <laughs> at chili around the butt around the butthole. Like oh man, only saw chili's butthole and some chili titties. <laughs> no, no, so, no. Right, so, other than fucking chili in a bikini, you will at least see two titties. Wow. So there's this thing called the naked roast at Skankfest. At Skankfest, it's called. You know what a roast is, right? Yeah. The comedy roast? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I would roast you, you would roast me. You'd yeah, be like, yeah. oh, fucking next year, you're a fuck boy. I was like, like yo, David come back. You have David a big Luca nose. Shit. Yeah. So there's this called, called the naked roast. And uh, these people roast each other naked. Like that. 100%. Uh, can I can I, can I I say no for that? Yeah. I just want to go and show that I have a big dick. And I'll be like, <laughs> nothing funny about this. Come get it. Room 238. I mean, you can't sign up for the I naked roast. I'm going to sign up. In case there's some bitch that can at least be like, oh, man, I'm going to be wasting my time. So there's bitches that go up there. Not the hottest bitches you've ever seen. Yeah, there's tortas. 
Yeah, bro. If she's, fu- if she's funny, I might take down a torta. Bro, it's too funny. One chick, dog, one chick. Okay, so there's the naked roast and a little competition for the naked roast to see who's the funniest. And there's one chick, bro. She would, I would say hot wise, you're going to think about like, I'm, these are like, it's low. She's like a seven. I'm being nice. A seven? That's not, bro, seven is hot. No, but it's like a seven around like a bunch of vatos. No, so a, give me a real number. Say a three. A four. A three. A three. A four or five. Yeah, she's bad, bro. She's bad. But like at the what moment. Do you, what do you be, see, what do you take her out to Katana? No. But, that, it, but, but if they give you free food. But see, that's what I mean. At Skate Fest, she's like the only chick there. She's naked. She's fucking hot. You get what I mean? Like she's hot right then and right then and there. No, not is it is she's hot or you're just horny? There's a difference between she's hot, hot was, yeah. and you know what? It's either this guy or that thing. I don't know. To me, at that moment in time, she was a seven. She's like a four or five on a regular day. When you, after you notice, she turned into a two. Easy. But <laughs> so so she goes up there, dog. She's she's roasting other fools with their dick out. A little small, little fucking... I don't even know what... I'm like, why are you up there, dog? What are you doing? Why are you up there? We're all nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> so, bro, she goes up. And she's kind of not doing good, right? Because you're nervous, bro. And, like, shout out to Skank Fest or, yeah, the Legion of Skanks. Like, before the show starts, they look at everybody and they're like, hey, guys, this is the Naked Rose. We'd appreciate if no one records. Remember, they're coming up here. They're very vulnerable. Don't record. Like, think about it. You paid how much to get here? Why would you show this to your friends for free? Tell them about it. That way they come to Skank Fest. Like, it's a thing. Like, don't just show it. Like, you got to think about it. You paid for it. Why are you giving it to your homies for free? I respect that a lot. So I was like, oh, shit. So everybody's looking out. Que nadie esté grabando. Because you got to respect them. You gotta hey, think- don't be recording that fat bitch. Yeah. Because <laughs> you got to be, you got to think about it. If Freak. You were, yeah. <laughs> you got to think about it. And let's say you had the boss to go up there. Would you want anyone recording you? Yeah, duh. That could be the package. I guess it doesn't. But but the point is, I'm you're not go, supposed I'm, to record. I'm gonna go there all hard as fuck. Just oh yeah, off, off, off I'm not saying yeah. I'm not saying if I ever. It don't did matter it. if I bomb. Cause I'm gonna bomb on some pussy later. <laughs> <laughs> so this chick goes up, dog, and uh, she's doing all right. Like I said, she's doing all right. And uh, you giggled or no giggles at all? Yeah, I don't remember. To be honest, you're just look. You're just more. You're Looking just more. Tits? You're more is astonished that these people are up on stage naked they, roasting each other. Like they're literally their brain's still working while they're up there naked. And everyone's watching them, bro. And at one point, this girl's like not killing it. She's about to lose the competition. And then she says, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I forgot my joke. And you're like, what the fuck, bitch? She's like, fuck, fuck, I forgot my joke. Let me pull out my notes. And she goes into her vagina and she pulls out a piece of paper. Dog, this shit's soggy. It's like wet. And she reads something, but it doesn't matter what she read. Everyone went crazy, bro. This bitch pulled out a note paper out of her vagina. It came out wet. The crowd went crazy, bro. She won the fucking competition. Everybody wanted a boner. She became a tan all of a sudden. Damn. She not everybody turned into a chuckle fucker? Everybody wanted to fuck that chuckle fucker. Everybody was no, a chuckle No, you turned fucker. into a chuckle ah, fucker because yeah, yeah, she's not, doing yeah, the, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, the, you're right. She's yeah. making the chuckle bro, was, That pussy was wet, bro. That pussy was wet, bro. I was uh, that the job was halfway what? done, dog. The no, job was oh, halfway done. What? Like, no, no, no. I don't know why it was wet. Like you said, she was fat. It wasn't wet. It no, was just no sweaty. one said it was fat. It no was, one called her fat. It Rewind. was sweaty. No, I just said she was like. Hey, oh. You could be body shaming. It's okay, but it's okay. Body shame. She was fat. She wasn't fat. Oh, okay. I just said she was a. She was just like a no tit, no ass having bitch. Also, but she was up good. there. I give it to her. She had a pretty what face. What a, she had a pretty face. You think nerves make your pussy wet? I don't know, but that pussy Has was wet, Has your pussy ever bro. been wet on stage? Hmm? Has your pussy ever been wet on stage? <laughs> when I killed. When I got a standing <laughs> on, I was like, oh, shit, my pussy got wet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had a tampon for his wet-ass pussy. <laughs> they always have him in the green room just in case. <laughs> no, with the election now, we're going to have a tampon in the boys' room, too. <laughs> Your pussy gets wet. <laughs> Yo, but this girl killed though. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was so what? I was like, what but that the was the, fuck the, the, just the last happened? joke killed or the whole joke? Uh, the joke. Dude, she wasn't even the last, but it didn't matter. Like it didn't matter. Like co- the competition was over. Like it doesn't matter what you have to say. This bitch just pulled out a piece of paper out of her vagina and. All right. Well, I'm gonna try for that. Sky. I'm gonna I'm gonna try for the naked roast, and then I'm gonna have. This is going on Patreon uh, uh, or this is going uh, just. I'm gonna have my dick pull out a little flag, you know, when they shoot the gun. <laughs> and like, a white one? So yeah, you surrender? And, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> and for my next joke, <laughs> it's a little hard one. <laughs> but no, so you think Skankfest? All right, so we're gonna vlog it. 
This one should be interesting because we're. Damn, but you're saying there's no bitches, so it's gonna be like. Mm. There's bitches. Mm. I, I, but I honestly, I never been, but I believe that's gonna be bitches love comedy. Bitches, honestly, no, bitches like ra- funny okay, guys. What do you think about the ratio? What do you think the ra- the ratio is gonna be? Like fucking one to five, fifteen to eighty five. Fifteen percent women, no, eighty five percent cock. One to five, uh, that's pretty same ratio. I said twenty percent, fifteen. Twenty, that's fine with me. Eight, twenty one, I'm probably gonna be the hottest fool there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> your your dad body might come in hard, oh, dude. These fools are it's fat. Not, bro. It's not full dad body. No, you don't got full dad body. Dad. These fools are fucking Dorito soda drinking motherfuckers. Don Vito, Don Vito, Don Vito fuckers. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Don, Don Vito bro, fuckers. first year they did this shit in an in in an, it was summertime in Vegas, humid. They did this indoors, bro. It smelled so fucking bad, no. dog. Day three, dog, you were just like, what the fuck? No females? Sam Tripley was like, yo, dude, you got to let females in for free. You got a bunch of horny ass dudes. Just- I, I like Sam Tripley. That's awesome idea. I'm not even mad. Skank Fest, not going to land in the skanks for free? Come, hey. You suck a dick, you go in. Okay. Uh, uh, guys pay skanks free. <laughs> dude, guys Skank Fest, always- hire me for your promotion that needs. Hey, but we do need a bouncer to fucking rate these bitches. When we mean... Bitches in for free. We don't mean tortas in for free. We don't mean Raider fans in for free. I know we're in Vegas, but like we got to keep their uh, weight limit. Weight limit's two hundred. <laughs> weight limit two hundred, dog. And that's and, that, and that's being nice, dog. Some bitches two hundred. That's me Man, being nice. Two hundred is more than me. That's what I'm saying. I'm being nice. But two hundred because you got because the cute friend always brings the fat friend. So I'm letting you bring your fat friend. Skank Fest is letting you bring your fat friend. It's Vegas. You might be drunk and be like, ah, fuck this gordita has big ass titties. Cause there's some gorditas, but. Fucking they don't and, have big ass titties. They're just fat. I hate when fucking fat bitches say that. I got big old fat titties. No, you're fat. You don't. It's just it's irrelevant. So it's the, like it's like me saying, "Oh look, I have a six pack." Yeah, you're fucking skinny as bones, dog. <laughs> like you don't you don't have a six pack and you don't have fat ass tits. So you're saying that if, <laughs> if, the, if, the, if the titties match the pants, those titties don't count? No, no, a hundred percent, no. Yeah, but do, you have double D, but a double D belly. Yeah. Yeah, those titties don't count, girl. I'm sorry. If you got double D's and you order two double cheeseburgers. You're a fat bitch. <laughs> That's an expensive, man. You can't even eat a fat bitch because it comes out expense. Like, damn, bitch, I pretty got double double for the myself. The cool thing about fat bitches they have pretty good jobs. They know, they know, oh, they yeah, know they true. eat a lot, so they know they gotta fucking. They're hardworking. Oh yeah, just not hardworking hard at the gym. That's just <laughs> hardworking. I keep their mouth open. <laughs> chewing, <laughs> chewing. All right, it's gang fest. I-, I honestly believe they're gonna be bitches. We'll see if, if you I, get laid. If, we'll if, see if you get laid. We'll see if you get laid. That is literally, dude, that is 100% the goal to get scumbags laid at Skank Fest. And it sounds pretty easy. If I don't get laid, I'm going to do a minute on stage. Oh, What's up, guys? A minute, dog. No, 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 no. Five. Dog, nah, a minute nah, ain't nah, shit, you're, you're, dog. Nah, a minute. Five minutes, you're asking, I can't even have a five minute conversation with a bitch like, without getting bored. A whole minute of me telling a joke? A minute? You can waste You can waste 30 seconds. Be like, what's up, guys? Uh, you guys here? We don't smoke the same first show. Uh, I'm a scum. Any scums out there? That's 30 seconds right there, dog. I'm just I'm fucking the, hyping you it's up. It's going to be Kill Tony. Kill Tony hates when you be like, hey, n- this enough crowd work. Okay, three minutes. If you don't get laid at Skank Fest, what's the up, next guys? we don't smoke the same comedy show. Scumbags is doing three minutes. Facts right here on site. Man, good thing I'm getting laid on. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, bro, I, this, I, fool is, you're, you're, this fool is going to bone the fattest bitch <laughs> at Skank Fest, dog. A tortazilla, dog. Is there a weight limit to the sex No, bro, you just got to get laid, dog. Get laid? I don't even give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you fuck a dude, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> as hey, long this, as you get laid, the ro- you don't got to ro- do three minutes, dog. <laughs> fuck. As Tranny, as as I don't care, dog. A dog, I don't care, dog. <laughs> no, I'm not going to make it that great. I'm going to fuck a fatty. No weight limit. Nah, I'm not doing stand-up. <laughs> but if I don't get laid, I'm going to do three minutes at the, we don't, the next We Don't Smoke the same comedy show. Done. But then I'm going to have a new career. Why not? No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Stand-up, honestly, to me, stand-up, I, always, I love stand-up comedy. But I'm just like, damn, bro, this shit is fucking complicated. Like... It's hard to do. I, I, it's just nerve wracking. And then everybody's looking at you. Then if you're not funny, then it's like, they're going to boo you. You're going to get heckled. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to be at Skank Fest. What's the date? Next weekend. What's we'll the date? The 
24, 25th, 26th, something like that. 27, 28, 29th. My bad. 27, 28, 29th. So we'll be out there. We'll be vlogging. And I think the Scum and Kicking website is going to be up now. So we'll put the link here. Check it out. Shop. Buy, buy some shit. Support us. The more sales we make, the more skanks we'll fuck. No? <laughs> well, you haven't fucked the first one. So oh, yeah. fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. I will vlog that. I will walk them. I will walk. I will record them walking away. He's going to edit me not getting late. Like, oh, no, we can't have this. We can't have this. <laughs> He's, he's pulling too many holes. Like, <laughs> this, this vlog is not going to make it. <laughs> well, now, check us out. Uh, buy some merch at fullytoxic.com, scumbagsco.com, chillymilly.shop, chillymilly.shop.com. Check it out, man. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, hit the like button, subscribe. Please, motherfuckers. We yeah, need, hit a, the we like need like button. Yeah, no, 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 no. They're lagging it with the Forget, like. No, I don't care about the like button. Hit the subscription button. We need a thousand subscribers for YouTube to stop paying us. We're literally like 50 away. Come on. Come on, Please, guys. Please, come on, guys. There's a thousand people watching. The subscription should be already there. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Please.